Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got another Maku review for you. Um, yeah, we're going to do Star Wars Kenobi. This one's episode three. Um, so still part of the long awaited Kenobi series. I'm just going to go at Kenobi because it's a lot easier. I still think it should have been called that in the first place. But hey ho. Anyway, so in this episode, uh, we basically get Obi-Wan continuing to try and get Leia back to her home planet of Alderaan, back to Organa. Um, back to her, well, adopted father and mother. And the struggles of basically his PTSD again. Uh, this this one, I think this one comes into this episode quite a bit. Now, there's been a lot of people kind of crapping on this episode. It's not a bad episode. It's not a great episode. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna crap on it completely myself. Um, it wasn't in any way or any means um, what I'm expecting out of the Kenobi series myself I'm sure there's others out there and I know there is one out there <laughs> I'm looking at you Lucius um, but yeah for me for what I was expecting from the Kenobi series this isn't it at the moment we do get a cool scene in it, a couple of cool scenes actually um, which I'll go into a little bit later this would just be a quick review there's a couple of cool scenes, but at least we get to... I actually really like the fact that we're getting the dynamic between Leia and Obi-Wan, which is Ace, because I think everyone originally thought that this was going to be a show about Obi-Wan and Luke, um, but at the moment it's not. And from what I'm hearing, we may potentially be getting a season two, even though this was originally penned as being a limited, a time-limited season or time-limited series. We might actually be getting a season two, which I really hope they do, because I think they need to address something that's bugging me. <laughs> specifically <laughs> yeah just listen to me Disney um, and this is something that's bugging me in Star Trek as well in the new strange new world season or series and it's it's the fact that we know what's gonna happen to Obi-Wan we know what's gonna happen to Anakin Vader we know what's gonna happen to Leia Luke Uncle Arwen we know what's gonna happen so at the moment there's there's nothing that's building tension. Uh, as I was saying to a friend of mine, everything that's happened so far, the parts in this in the last three episodes that are meant to have sort of like an emotional connection with the viewer, they're just not hitting. Um, and I did actually write it down as well. I'm actually starting to write stuff down, which is which is you know kind of professional. <laughs> and I did write it down. Uh, like we know that people aren't going to be dying. So we know Leia doesn't die. We know Luke doesn't die. We know Obi-Wan doesn't die. We know Vader doesn't die. Not for a good nine years anyway. And um, yeah, it just... The moving parts just aren't creating like the the emotion or the emotion and emotional tension uh, that I think they are supposed to. And I think that's the reason why, because we know what's going to happen to these characters. And as I said, this is something that is bugging me in Star Trek from the last episode. I'm really enjoying Star Trek. Uh, I'm actually enjoying that more than this Kenobi series. And I think we're only an episode ahead at the moment in Star Trek. But if you haven't seen Star Trek, go check it out. But there's it's happening in that as well right now. There's Pike knows his fate and we know his fate and we, we've seen visions of what happens to him, when it happens to him. So when we watch the episode, if it comes, we know it's going to happen, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. And so because we know his fate and what happens to him, all these missions in between are kind of meaningless. They're not going to give us the um, emotional response or the tension. We're not going to be at the edge of our seat because we know nothing's going to happen to him and most likely the crew of the Enterprise and it's the same with this we know nothing's gonna happen to Obi-Wan nothing's gonna happen to Vader or Anakin or Leia or Luke and I think that's what's causing the problem for me at the moment there are a couple of good scenes in this uh, and as I said the, like Lucia said to me earlier a lot of people are crapping on on a certain scene I thought it was good there are some drawbacks to it which bugged me and I'll get into those in a second the spoilers um, but that's about it really it's just the tension and the bits that are meant to be hitting home aren't really doing it for me but i love leia leia's awesome she's a pain in the back so she's a little brat but she is cool i like the dynamic between them, the both of them at the moment so hopefully that will continue to grow hopefully 
she doesn't just disappear out of the season. I, we, I think we're getting six episodes of this, so uh, and we're on the third. So I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't just like drop her off and that's it. We don't see her again. So if we're getting a second season, fingers crossed, we get to see more of Leia, and hopefully we get some some Luke because uh, he's only he's young at the moment. So I wonder whether he would remember interactions with him at this age or not. Not too sure, but uh, yeah, I mean overall. For what I was expecting, it's not a solid episode for me. I'm going to probably give this one... Oh god, I'm going to get some... Get some... Uh, black for this. Probably... It's mid, again. Let's say 5 out of 10. On this one, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just not hitting at the moment. And I think it needs to. What I was saying to a friend of mine was, I think they need to bring a character into this who we're not expecting, and I think that character should be Darth Maul. And I know it's not until about eight years ahead that Obi-Wan comes across Darth Maul again, I think it is. Uh, but I think we need him in it. Uh, we, we need another another decent villain. Reva's not doing it for me. I think she's going to end up turning back to being a Jedi. I think that's what's going to happen with Reva. I'm not enjoying her character at the moment. She's not... If, if she's... If she's look, if she's kind of like teetering on being on the dark side and the light side, then it works. But if she's not, and she's trying to be on the dark side, it's not working at all for me. I just don't... I don't believe her character. Actor's great. She's she's good actor, good good actress. I just don't believe the character at the moment. Um, yeah, there's another theme. One of the, one of the other Inquisitors, the female Inquisitor, we get to see a bit more of her in this episode. I actually quite like her. I actually quite like her character. So I'd like to see more of her. For the, the small part that we've seen, I quite like it. So um, hopefully we get to see more of her. But Reva's not doing it for me. Hopefully they'll address whether she's going to be flipping back to the Jedi soon. Um, it might happen based on this episode, not too sure, but I think they need to do it ASAP because I think a lot of people are, um, are disliking the character. Not for the actress, just the character. Alright, so yeah, it's, um, it's a five for me on this one, guys. Uh, let's just do a quick spoiler um, review, just a quick breakdown. Just I just want to talk about a couple of bits that have bugged me in this episode, and I don't want to do it. To you guys who haven't seen it so if you've uh, if you're not seen the episode and you want to go away now feel free hit the like button hit the subscribe button notification bell and then you'll be notified when a video goes live again drop a comment i'd love to chat to you i try and respond to everyone as much as i can and i want to get to know you guys it's been be nice to get to know the community um get some fan favorites in there so uh yeah i'll see you guys soon peace out i hope you enjoyed the video let's go to the spoilers Okay, spoilers, kind of spoilers. I just wanted to give you a rundown of what bugged me in this episode. Um, not not only was it Reva, um, can't really go too much into her because I don't know where her story arc's going. She might she might end up going back to being a Jedi, so that might change my outlook on her completely. When when I rewatch it, I'll be like, ah, that's better. You know what I mean? You know how you 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 watch something through and you don't like it and then at the end something happens to kind of bring it all together and then you're like it happened in a show that i that i really love black sails a pirate show called black sails i didn't like the first season at all didn't like it um and then after watching the rest of the seasons you go back to it it's pretty good pretty good um but yeah a few things that bugged me um well, actually we got to see um Quinlan Voss in this as well, so maybe we'll actually, well we didn't get to see him it meant, we mentioned him, so maybe we'll get to actually see him, maybe he's going to be a character coming into it, that'd be pretty cool um, he's a sar I think he's sarcastic <laughs> he's a bit bit sarcastic like me so, I'd love to see that character um, cool bit in this Stormtrooper bailing off the top of the building, ends up falling into that laser beam barrier, gets sliced in half that was great. I really like that. Um, and then we get to the few few nitpicky bits that bugged me was um, was Obi Wan trying to get through that barrier at that checkpoint, trying to get the barrier shut down. He could have just walked around it. It's just one of those things. I suppose in the in the moment, 
of panic. You might not think about that, but you could just walk around it. <laughs> um, other bits were um, oh, the, the chase again, the, the Vader V. So I spoke to a friend of mine about this and yeah, I get the whole PTSD thing. Everyone's got PTSD and he's seeing Vader for the first time. So he's doesn't want to do. He's panicking. I get that. But it's the chasing again. It was like slow motion chase scene between Obi-Wan and Vader. And it's like, oh, there's a dirt pile over there. I'm just going to hide behind that for a sec. He won't find me here. He, he, he literally found you on this planet, mate. He's going to find you behind a dirt pile. Oh, he's found me. Oh, I'll go to this dirt pile over here and I'll go be hide behind this. Nothing was happening. There needed to be more environment around him for him to interact with, climb over or, or maybe hide, hide somewhere. Not behind a pile of dirt. <laughs> I mean, um, so that bugged me a little bit. Um, yeah, and the the part he, he's he's obviously terrorizing Obi Wan. You know, he's put him in the flames, and then um, can't remember what the other character's name was. The female character comes out and shoots one stormtrooper, and then all of a sudden, that's it. The fight's over. She shoots one storm stormtrooper, shoots that container, um, fire engulfs the area again and uh, Vader just stands there and watches as the robot picks him up and takes Obi-Wan away and he's just I can't get my head around he's just, it's just 10 years of searching for Obi-Wan he's finally found him he's traveled across the galaxy probably multiple galaxies to this planet to get to Obi-Wan he's torturing him and then he just stands there and watches him get taken away I don't I don't believe it at all and even then they're still in the same area they're just literally over the other side of the mound it doesn't make sense not only that Vader Vader burns him I think he puts out the fire and Obi-Wan's kind of like laying there not knowing what to do and he tells a stormtrooper to go get him and bring him to him you've just used force powers on him pick him up yourself you lazy git you just it's not I don't get it he's literally there he could have used the force pulled Obi-Wan back but no he didn't he asked one of his lackeys to go get him and then that's when it went to when it went tits up and he got sh the stormtrooper got shot oh it just didn't it didn't make any sense at all um so the fight was good you know I get the PTSD thing like that you know Obi-Wan's using two hands I mean he used two hands in Phantom Menace anyway so it doesn't really make any difference but you could see it in him that his PTSD and his memories were getting to him Vader was badass, one-handed, smashing him down. That was good stuff. Uh, so the fight scene's good. It's just the bit before it, the, the him chasing him around. Um, I'm surprised Vader couldn't sense Obi-Wan's presence like he does in the originals. Because um, Obi-Wan senses him. Obi-Wan senses him in this episode, but Vader doesn't really sense him. He, he does like the odd take to a different direction every now and then, but they don't give you the... They don't give you the um, the idea that it's his the force ability him sensing him through the force. Um, yeah, so there was just a few nitpicky pieces, um, but that's that's about it. I think it was. Yeah, it's, it is a it is a proper mid episode. Five out of ten for me on this one, guys. Um, let me know if you had the same same issues with it, same nitpicky bits. I'm enjoying the layer Obi One stuff, like I said. Uh, we've had quite a lot of that though, so let's kind of steer away from that for a bit obviously Leia has been picked up now by uh, Reva so this is where I'm 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 thinking maybe maybe Reva's gonna start turning the other direction possibly and going back towards the Jedi maybe because I think she had a little moment in that little storage room that Obi-Wan was hiding in where she saw the Jedi symbol on the wall and she had a little moment and then she got angry so I wonder whether she sympathizes a little bit with the Jedi I suppose that's something to look out for anyway guys thank you very much for joining me again um really appreciate it i hope you've enjoyed the video let me know what you think of this episode have you got the same pet peeves as i have uh what do you think uh reva's story arc's gonna be how's that gonna go do you want to see darth maul drop into this because i i do i definitely do um and do you want to see obi-wan with luke i think we need some luke we do have to need some luke only a little bit though i think anyway Thanks guys, peace out, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you next time on uh, the next Maku Reacts or Maku Reviews, one of the two. Or it might be a Warzone game, <laughs> we'll, never, we'll never know. Anyway, guys, cheers, I'll see you later.